Well, the sun has risen here in beautiful Wilmington. And when you're talking about a rising program, Nicole Woods heading into her second season at the helm at UNCW and her women's basketball program, the Seahawks, they're looking to rise as well. Coach, good morning to you. Best of morning to you. How are you? I am doing fantastic. We're talking here on the first day of October and it already feels like it's 80 degrees, it's gonna be mid 80s. I mean, what do you make of, of getting a chance to wake up in Wilmington, North Carolina every single day? Sometimes I wake up and I just can't believe that I live here. And then when I ride down the, the road and, and I see all of this, I, I really and truly believe that our beach is better. Let's take a walk, right. why don't we? Let's do it. So for you, year two, and we were just talking about it before we started, there's so many people around UNCW in this community that care, that are invested. That's right. What's that mean to you? It means everything for me. Uh, being a first year head coach and uh, not really knowing what to expect when I got here. The embrace from the community, the, the number of people that showed up to our games, every single game, win, lose, or draw. They knew they were gonna get a team that fought to the end and they believe in us and um, we're really excited you know with this season we uh, recruited a, a brand new roster for the most part we've got six returners five transfers and four freshmen four freshmen that don't know they're freshmen that's even better that's what well, that's what we like that's even better so we're looking forward to the community uh, coming out and supporting again this season let's talk about some of those pieces to the puzzle you, you bring in Alex Zalea coming in from North Carolina, yeah. Janiah Hall from Monmouth. What have they brought to the table? Oh man, first of all, they bring confidence. It's something mm -hmm. about confidence. When you've been there before, you know what to expect and you can kind of steer the ship. And that's what we needed. We had some players that um, played hard and did everything, but when it came down to winning time, you know, yeah. you gotta have those types of players. And uh, we call Jania Nini. Nini um, is, is, the, is the steadier of the ship. And um, I would say Ali is the mouthpiece, the, the communicator um, that really gets us going. And it doesn't, it doesn't hurt that she can hit a three or two, you know. That, that always helps when you put the ball in the basket. <laughs> you know, I, I look at your team and you said it, confidence, yes. mentality. When I talk with people around the program, they say now it feels like year one. Mm -hmm. That that's in the rearview mirror. You, it's right. a learning process. But when you took this job, you told your young women, "We have to have that confidence mentality. We have to shed the past." That's right. That's right. What's that process, and 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 how do you get the most confidence out of your group? You know, for me, um, confidence comes from within, and confidence comes from your work. But also, you know, you got to believe that you're going to win, too. And um, our, our core values for our program, we call them our six P's of progress. Six P's. Passion, positivity, perseverance, principles, posture, posture. and philanthropy. Posture. Posture. See, you already got it. See how you bowed your chest yes. out right there? My grandma taught me when I was little, you always have your head high and your shoulders back, regardless of what's going on. And so that winning posture. So the players that we brought into our program had either won conference championships, won state championships, played at that level, AAU championships. And so now we're infusing them with a group that have the desire and have the hunger. Now we've got some ones that can help hold that expectation, that posture of winning, and it's contagious. You're from North Carolina. As you can tell. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you played, you had a, a successful playing career at Belmont Abbey. I, I know you went overseas as well. Uh, who inspired you to get into basketball in the first place, and what's your why? You know, it was a gentleman named Cornelius Boogie Crank. And Boogie played basketball years ago, and he, when he retired, he came back and ran our local Boys and Girls Club. So I was just little, this little eight-year-old girl just at the Boys and Girls Club whose mom said, go try some sports. And um, I played in the backyard with the boys and things of that nature, but my first time playing with Boogie, um, I was on the girls' team, and he took me off the girls' team and put me on the boys' team from eight to 13. Wow. And, and literally, uh, life changed after that. Ball, mm. ball was life for me. Um, and so I, I started playing at about seven or eight years old. My why is my family. 
Um, you know, so many people sacrifice so that I can have, and now I want to do the same thing uh, for my, my child and uh, my family to continue, um, you know, the, the Woods legacy. We like to say the Woods way. That's the Woods way, and, and I know, and I wanted to congratulate you because right over here on the beach, Yes. You're newly married. Newly I'm so married. happy for you. Congratulations. What was that like? Oh, man. So you can imagine um, when you're getting married on the beach, there's yeah. a lot of different variables yeah. that go into place. But I, I could not have asked for a perfect day when it comes to um, the weather, the the wind, the everything that, that came came along with it. It was, it was a beautiful day. I was one of those people I never thought I'd be married. But here I am, and married life is the best life. That's, what, you can look. that's what I'm talking about. It is. There's no feeling like that. That's the best win of your life. That's right. Number one recruit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Number one recruit. When I say Taylor Hen Henderson, uh -huh. what pops in your mind? So I, I know Taylor since she was about probably seventh or eighth grade, being a Charlotte kid and me coming from um, you know UNC Charlotte. And so to see her um, growth, um, and then getting the opportunity to uh, coach her here. Mm -hmm. My players and, and staff will joke. They say we have a love-hate relationship, and we really do, but it's all love, love. I'm so proud of her, um, not just uh, in terms of a, an athlete, you know, that perseverance, you know, most people don't realize she had two season ending injuries prior to last year, and how she persevered mm. to be able to come back um, to be the player she was for us last year. Now she's fully healthy. Now she's fully healthy. She's had a full summer to work um, on and off the court as she's a scholar athlete as well. Um, I'm excited to see what she's gonna be like uh, considering um, you know, having that full summer. Coach, I'm excited for year two here. You got a lot of, of exciting games. You're gonna tip off the season with no shortage attached. You got North Carolina, Virginia Tech in there. Yep. You're going to Puerto Rico for Thanksgiving, which Correct. is also exciting. What's your message to your fan base? My message is that number one, we need to pack trash. And if you had not got your season tickets, get them today. Um, but what you need to know is we're a brand new team, um, but we've got the same heart as we had before. And um, we're looking forward to uh, surprising a few people um, and coming and we expect to win. We expect to win in everything we do. And uh, people ask me all of the time, what, what do I expect from my team? And it's simple. Come see for yourself. How's the beach sound? Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. You see the We're sign? here. Can you see the sign? Oh, wow. Wow. Now that is a surprise. That is awesome. That's awesome. That, that's what I'm talking about right there. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That is very cool. I am surprised by that. And yes, it does. It is a scene that represents what makes college basketball the best. Trask is second to none. It's fantastic.